All right, Rocky, you got quite a bit dirty today at the beach. So it's time for a bath now. Let's go. Oh, that's not the bath. You're so stubborn. You're so stubborn. Come on. Come on. Let's go. It's Rocky and Danny the Traveler here. Rocky and I are on our way to the magnificent city of Bath in the UK. This will be our first time here. We stopped at a Domino's in Salisbury and missed our connecting train to Bath, but eventually we made it. So we're going to show you a bit of bath during my first time here on an evening back when I first was learning how to film properly. And then sometime later we will see bath in the daytime when I improve my filming. At least that's what I like to think. The city was even more magnificent than I imagined and coming here during the holidays made it feel even more special. So our main goal during this night visit was just to sightsee and walk around the city and get a feel for it. Wow. So what did I think? Well, I was absolutely astonished at the buildings. Such a unique city and the buildings alone gave me such wonder. If you're wondering what this stunning building is, it's the Bath Abbey. It's an extraordinary looking church that just demands a closer look. Unfortunately, only assistance dogs are allowed, so we didn't get a chance to go inside, but the building itself was enough of a prize for me. As this was during the Christmas season, it got pretty dark very quickly, but that didn't mean it was time to go home yet. There was still tons to see. There's plenty to do here, from intriguing and colorful shops to restaurants, and then there's the actual Roman baths. We mostly just walked around the building as dogs were not allowed inside, but I got a feeling I'll be back soon. As far as dog friendliness goes, we saw plenty of different shops, pubs, and restaurants that were dog friendly. And we heard there were loads more natural places to take your dog. But we were quite content just walking around the city for now. It was getting late, but we were not ready to leave quite yet. I felt this enthusiasm for the city, and at the time I felt that Bath was easily one of my favorite cities, and that's just from feeling the energy of the city as we walked around. You're right. I would go on to revisit the city a few years later during the day. Now this is the River Avon, and just here is the famous Pulteney Bridge. The 
This time around, I came back in the daytime with a better filming tool, although I used my phone, which has a pretty good camera. Unfortunately, Rocky sat on the bench this time around as we wanted to go inside the Roman baths. Now in the daytime, I got to get a better look at the Georgian style architecture. It was a busy August day here, so just a little different from our first trip during the Christmas season. We finally got to enter the actual Roman baths as well, which is what I had been waiting to see for years. And we got a pretty nifty audio guide. I will give you guys a kind of short visual tour of the place and hopefully it inspires you to want to make the trip to Bath and see this place in person. Now here's a small tour of the inside, but again this will not quite capture how incredible it is to be here and just be able to see, smell, hear and feel everything as well as learn about the history of the Roman baths. I hope this video inspired you to consider visiting this magnificent city, regardless of the season or the time, and you will enjoy it. Now if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting those thumbs up and subscribe buttons. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Well that was a fun adventure in bath. But now, it's time to go take a real bath. Because you're still filled with sand everywhere. So let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on boy. Let's go. <laughs>